Hi Rangers, welcome to the first battle report. We're playing Grim Dark Future. Uh, I'm not very good with the rules, so if I mess them up, let me know in the comments. I'm going to try my best uh, for you guys. I'll probably forget stuff, because that's what happens to me. I forget things. Uh, if you see that I forget something, just write it down in the comments. Today we're going to be playing, uh, they're going to be called the, uh, what are they, the Blood Brothers versus the Robot Legions. Now, you might know them as uh, Blood Angels versus Necrons, um, but for the purposes of being able to write some fiction after this later, inspired by this, we might refer to them as uh, the Crimson Templars and the, hang on, what they call Technodyne Cybernators. <laughs> so... Uh, there we go. Now, I am playing on quite a small table. We're playing with a bit of a different scenario here today. Um, all will be explained as we sort of go go through the explanation of the video. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Today, we find ourselves at the Plutus Research Colony on planet Lakshmi 4 in the Cation Sector. Uh, having not responded to the comms for some months, the Plutus Research Colony has stopped transmitting data altogether. No biomonitors, no atmospheric details, or even chronometer readings. Uh, a small assault team, that guy's there, uh, of the third company of Crimson Templars has been sent to investigate. Normally they would go alone, but due to the sensitive nature of the research in the facility, uh, they have been accompanied by Chaplain Lorenzius Asbiar, our first uh, major character. Uh, has been He's been sent along to oversee the operation. Uh, if you want to name a character and have fiction written about them, uh, check out our Patreon, patreon.com RJ's Rangers. Uh, that's what we're going to do. For all our major characters, we're going to farm them out. Uh, if you want to spend some money and get a character named, I'll also write some fiction for you. So that first one comes from our first Patreon member, my wife. Oh, isn't that nice? Um, here's the scenario. So our, our Blood Brothers, a.k.a. Crimson Templar, uh, they are an assault team, which if we come down here, have I got, got the rules there? That's it. Now, they're a bit small on points too. You'll notice it's a bit of a mismatched uh, deal here. Uh, <laughs> they It's just a team of five dudes and the chaplain um or what they would call blood master brother with uh what is it they give him blood priest so he has a holy chalice anyway so um they are sent here to investigate now for this scenario uh we don't have to maintain squad cohesion um but in for terms of the blood chalice that he's got that has to be kind of you know within six inches of, of that guy uh normally with such a small table we'd play in centimeters but today we're going to be using the full inches because of the scenario. It's kind of a, you know, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, you can see here we've got several red dots. Now on the other side of those red dots, they've been randomly chucked down. Uh, there is a letter A, B, C or D. And that will uh, come into our robot legions. Um, that's their, their deal there. A will be the robot lord. Uh, B or C will be a group of 10 uh, warriors. Those warriors are just armed with just the normal stuff. Um, nothing too fancy. And then if it is a D, it is the robot swarms. So without further ado, we will begin the first turn. Uh, and basically the scenario ends when either our team of valiant heroes is dead or um, we have cleared out all of these rooms uh, and survived it. That's the scenario. Here we go. Round one. Okay, so our, our blood brothers have charged forth. Uh, the guy with the axe has a flamer, not an axe, just uh, for the purposes of this video. Uh, I'm not sure what the deal is with these guys being able to um, shoot through one another. I'll look those official rules up. If you know, please put them in the comments. Um, but I'm going to say three of these guys can kind of shoot, and the other two guys or other three guys are, are out of it. Now we need to reveal who is next in here. It is... Some warriors. I'll set them up and then we'll have these guys take some shots. Okay, so the warriors reveal. There should be 10 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm missing one. Whoops. There you go. 10 warriors. Uh, now, the flamer guy's going to get a shot off and two other guys, the red dice, are going to be for Mr. Flamey Flamey. Uh, these blood brothers need the three plus to survive. So here we go. Let's see how many they can take out. As I said, this is a mismatch. Uh, we're going to need some good rolls. Three plus. 
given my rolls, that's not terrible, actually. <laughs> that's pretty good. All right, so uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six hits. Uh, the robots have a defense quality of four plus, needing fours or more to save. Ooh, that's pretty good, too. Uh, there's two guys who will take a wound, but wait, they have regeneration. So they will, one of them falls down and crumples, but gets back up. The other melts to pieces uh, in front of these guys. Now the robots, they're slow. They don't need to move. They're going to shoot back immediately. There's what, nine guys there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now they have rending which means that on a six, they will deal a bunch of wounds or whatever. What's rending do? Rending, unmodified result of six to hit counts as having AP four and ignores the regenerate. Oh, and ignores the regeneration rule. That blood chalice is worthless. I did not look at that when I made this video, <laughs> when I made the armies. <laughs> so anyway, they need a three plus to hit. Uh, here we go, nines, three plus to hit. Any six is an insta death. And look at that. We got two insta deaths, three insta deaths. <laughs> Rot <Ruh> row. <laughs> this is not going well. Um, so, three guys are instantly dead. This could be a. Uh, now, normally they'd get to roll for the blood chalice, but that's regeneration, right? Uh, so, that's no good. Let's have a look. We get rid of these ones that miss. So, that's two hits. We get to save uh, two hits, which is defense of three plus. And these guys and both of those guys make it um yeah wow that is a brutal turn this game may be way too overpowered uh so this could be a short video folks <laughs> all right we have to take a quality test because we've just been obliterated uh now luckily we can use the chaplain's quality which is three plus here we go uh they survive they are fearless uh, fearless also means I think they get a plus one. Yeah, plus one. So they are all good on that. All right, well, now we need to decide. Do we attack some more or do we run the heck away? Mm. Being so severely outnumbered, they are going to maneuver themselves over here and um, maybe try their luck in the corridors. I'm just aware I've got another 10, uh, <laughs> batch of 10 dudes. <laughs> Um, that need fighting. Uh, so they're going to move into that corridor uh, and we will flip. Let's see who's over here. D. D is the robots. Well, I mean, they're all robots, but the spiders. Okie dokie. Wow. That's interesting. So they can't really see the spiders from there. So endeth their turn. Um, but... Now we need some robots. I'm going to do some movement. We'll come back. The Blood Brothers might be in with a chance. Now, first of all, I think uh, the, those robots don't know what's going on down at this door, so they are going to skitter where the action is happening. But as you can see, these robots only have a movement of four because they have slow. So um, maybe this choke point is going to create a scenario where the, uh, the Blood Brothers can actually win something. Uh, so, on to the next turn. Alright, the Blood Brothers have positioned themselves strategically in the doorway, but the uh, Flamer is going to sit out the front here, uh, hoping to kind of send some fiery jets through there. It's within the 12, uh, you know, that it's, it's meant to have. Uh, so, I, I think we're going to let that flame jet... <laughs> Uh, get a bit more hits than we'd normally let it have. Like I said, it's got a bit more line of sight. Area of effect, you know, that used to be a thing back in games. We don't really do that anymore. So uh, for the purpose of narrative and maybe giving these guys half a chance at surviving this story, uh, we're going to let the flamer guy have a shot. I don't think anyone else can really see, but they're preparing themselves to use the terrain to their advantage and, and kind of be safe. So here we go. Uh, flames, we need three plus. Here we go. Actually, these guys are veteran infantry, so they only need two plus, actually. Is that right? Am I interpreting that right? This unit gets plus one to hit in melee and shooting. This is shooting, so we only need two plus, which means all of those hit. Um, so if I got that wrong, tell me, tell me in the business. Uh, these guys are going to defend. They have four plus. Here we go. Oh, 
they all get the fence. <laughs> oh, it's not going well for the Blood Brothers, is it? Uh, <laughs> a jet of flame. <laughs> the last hope, yes, says the flame. I'm going to angle it just right and shoot down that corridor and send the flame spiraling at them in a, in a hellstorm. Uh, and not a single robot is phased by the fire. <sighs> Scary. And they are going to advance out on their turn and have some pot shots. Turn two for the Robot Legions. Um, that narrow corridor has actually worked out pretty good because these robots are slow, except the, the swarms have strider, so they kind of ignore terrain. What I've said is the striders can kind of ignore their, their fellow their fellow folk, so we've skidded them out, but to do that, that's a rush. So the spiders don't get to shoot with their strider rush. Um, however, the uh, each one of those tough three... Hmm... I'm confused if it's a single model or not. If you know if this robot, each one of these robots is tough three, I'm guessing it is. They are going to be a pain in the butt. They're 65 points though, so they're more than the boss. Holy cow, I thought these little robots would be like nothing, but they're actually going to be a massive pain in the bum. <laughs> right, <-row. laughs> Anyway, <laughs> these, three, uh, these three gentlemen are going to be shooting uh, at what they can see here. Uh, and that's gonna that's gonna give them a chance to shoot. Now they have the uh, gas rifles which are rending, so we're going to do three shots. If they get a six, it's an insta dead. Whew, no sixes this time. <laughs> uh, one is a miss. Uh, two of these are gonna be hits. We need a save defense of three plus. Oh, one saves, but one does not. He takes a wound, and the priestly brother gives him the chalice, and he, unfortunately, is out of the fight. We will take this guy, because we want to keep the flamer, because we need the flamer to survive. <laughs> Things do not bode well for the uh, Blood Brothers. Look, I can do their movement right now. It's pretty straightforward. He's going to jump back here. We'll, we'll keep using this cover. I mean, don't count out Lorenzius. He he might still have a good shot. He's gonna do some shooting, as is the is the flamer. Can I get a good shot from here? Yeah, there you go. The flamer is gonna be, uh, you know, shooting at the at the uh, at the, the dino. What are they called? Dinosaurs? No, robots. <laughs> here we go. So it turns out that the 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 boss. He luckily hasn't shot yet. Uh, doesn't have any guns to shoot with anyway, so um, there you go. He just has to go ham, mono a mono. So it's just the flamer. Have I got all of them? No, I'm missing one. Here we go. Just the flamer on all of those guys. All right, we've got... Uh, is it two plus to hit? It is two plus to hit. So all of those but one hits. Uh, these robot -y dudes have a defense of, what do we say, four plus. Uh, I should have gone with the swarms because they only have a six plus defense. Oh well. Um, but hey, those three robots don't die, and I guess some of the swarms don't die as well. So we will get rid of those guys in a fiery jet flume. Uh, now, I don't think I can be cheesy and be like, hey man, take some of those spiders with you um, because that's not in the spirit of the game. But there you go. Flame on. He's taken some out. Now, technically, we could take two. Let's say we can take two. We can take two more from there. Is that right? Two, one, two, three, four, five? Yes. There we go. We're, we, they need every advantage they can get, so the terrain bonus <laughs> is going to help, right? We'll give them that. So the terrain helping the Blood Brothers uh, cull down that, that one. I don't think they're going to survive the night, but, you know, we'll give it a go. <laughs> we still haven't got the robot lord out, for goodness sake. Even with uh, their their full movement there, uh, with their slow, they can only get out here. In fact, you know what? They're going to move all the way out because they can rush because they can't really shoot anyone because their buddies are going into the uh, into close combat. Spoiler alert for what the robots did. So these little skittery guys charged into uh, the, the the final blood brother and the the chaplain chaplain Lorenzius. Uh, and they are going to have some melee attacks. Uh, these guys will move up just because they, you know, they do not 
have the ability to shoot at someone who's in close combat, I believe. That's my understanding. So, uh, there is three dudes. Each one of these dudes has three attacks, if I am reading that correctly. Uh, I am assuming that's correct. If I'm wrong, please let me know. Um, I was going to say we need to do a morale check for these guys, but they're robots! And robots, uh, somewhere it says robots. Do not need to take a morale test. Um, there you go. Oh, wait a second. Hang on. Then roll as many dice as these remaining models slash tough in the unit. For each result, one or two, it takes a wound which can't be regenerated. Well, I have good news for us then. So there's four dudes here. Let's see. Are they going to break down uh, on a, what is it, one or two? Well, one of them takes a wound. There you go. He's just, this is a sad robot. Sad robot noises. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, look at that. Reading rules helps you win the game. Kids, who'd have thunk it? Anyway, back to the unmitigated carnage that's about to come out of these robot cockroaches. Uh, here we go. They need a six plus to hit. Oh, okay, so they're not that bad. If they do hit, it is rending, though. So any sixes mean an instant wound. Is it wound or death? Wound or death. Uh, it is an AP4 wound. Okay, here we go. So here we go. Um, all right, there is two sixes there. <laughs> Right, row. Well, AP4 uh, means, sorry, Mr. Flamer guy, you're, you're toast, I'm afraid to, to say. Um, and then we've got these two, wait, they needed sixes, so only those. Only the sixes hit. Oh, wow, okay, well. In that case, Mr. Flamer guy is dead, unfortunately. Um, but Lorenzius is down to two wounds. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do now. Apparently in melee, he gets to attack back, but doesn't have to. And then the loser makes a morale test. Well, he's going to attack back. He has a uh, heavy chainsaw sword. Chainsaw sword. So that's four. Uh, he needs three plus to hit. Here we go. He gets two wounds. How is a chainsaw not rending, but everything else is? I don't understand that. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> so, that's two wounds on these guys. These guys have toughness, though, so uh, that means one of them still has one dude available. We'll, we'll do that. There you go. One dude available. Uh, and that's it. So, how do you determine the loser? I guess both of them have lost two. But yeah, how do I determine the loser? Both mo have lost two models. Well, I guess one's one's lost one model and one's lost zero models. So we'll move you back an inch. He's going to go back this way. So he's around the door. Uh, and maybe, you know, use that terrain again a bit to his advantage. Try to, you know, <laughs> escape the, the onslaught. Lorenzius, you're our only hope. <laughs> We have to decide, is Lorenzius going to attack this horde, which he can't do enough to kill them, uh, or these guys. So I think he's going to try and make his way around the back, uh, which means he is not going to get a chance to do much this turn. Alrighty, so Lorenzius has run all the way around here. Now, he did have enough to reach those guys standing out the front of the door, but charging would... Um, you need line of sight to charge, right? Like, that's my understanding. And I don't think... You know, it has to be straight line, right? I don't think running around Benny Hill style counts as, uh, you know, charging in a straight line. So he then hid behind the corner, right? Now, these guys skidded after him, but again, because they didn't have line of sight at their... Well, he didn't have shooting or assault, whatever, right? So next turn, right? They they didn't have line of sight to him at the start of the turn, so they couldn't charge him either, so they have to stay, like, two inches away or whatever the rules are. And then these guys have come in, and they technically... Like, they didn't see him either, so they can't really charge, but they are going to um, come around the corner. They're slow. That's as far as they can move. They're so slow, these guys... Uh, and they're going to do their shooting on him, uh, which we are going to do now with three dice. Uh, and they are going to need a three plus. But it's rending. So any sixes. Oh, that brutal. That rending is just so brutal. Uh, all four hit. Yes. Yes. All four hits. One of them is rending. He's going to take that down to one. And uh, he's going to try and save. He needs a... 
three plus to save the other two wounds. Uh, one of them saves, but one of them doesn't. But luckily, he's got his blood chalice. Uh, and that is not a... How's regeneration work? That's not a five plus. So he is dead. Brother Lorenzius is out of it. Out of it. He's just too overwhelmed by too many robots in close combat. And uh, that's it. He's... He's gone, a goner, as the robots chitter away at his flesh, the weakness of the flesh. Now, that then means that uh, we are left with our robots for the victory for the next session. The robot lord watches over as his minions descend upon the weakness of the flesh, tearing it limb from limb and disposing of it making good use of it, turning it into some plasmary gauze or whatever. Uh, he is little aware to the nature of just exactly what the research station was researching, but that will come to be a weakness at a later date in the next session. <laughs> As an aside, we need a name for uh, the Robot Lord and we'll need a name for our undead zombie guy. Uh, so, I'll see you in the next video. If you want to contribute some names, jump on the Patreon, let me know. And uh, see you then. Thanks for watching. I hope it was fun. And uh, maybe next time I'll actually have an even battle. <laughs> Alrighty, Rangers, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, it did not go according to plan. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Space Marines from Games Workshop are a bit more chunky than One Page Rules Space Marines, right? <laughs> and again, yeah, I know, it's like one team does not an army make, uh, but that rending really took me by surprise. I thought they'd get some regeneration with the Blood Chalice and it just wiped them out completely um, because of the rending. So, what can you do? Uh, we've got another video coming up uh, shortly, so we will need some names for the for the boss characters every you know every army is going to have a boss character and as you see sometimes they get obliterated um the way we do that here is jump on the patreon and um at a certain level you you can be involved in that that comes with me writing a story for that character that you name right i'll write some fiction uh to sort of back that up and that's kind of one of the main reasons why i'm doing this is to make some fiction and, and stuff like that so if you could uh you know if you if you want to name stuff jump on and do it if you don't whatever i'll just give them a name it's not a problem uh but if you do jump on you'll get a story as well uh and if you know more people jump on than there are characters then i just have to make more videos and more stories right that's how it works uh so hopefully that is how it works <laughs> you know <laughs> otherwise i just get lots of free time and i make crappy videos that are very shaky because i'm holding this with uh, with one hand uh <laughs> anyway you have a great day thank you for watching and ciao for now